first joined is an outstanding revolutionary philosophic poem by Parshi Vishi Shelley. It was written in 1819. The next year, in 1820, it was published. About 200 years ago, this poem was published. It's a very interesting and unique creation by P. B. Shelley. In the first stanza, we can see that West Wind plays its role in the ground. The world leaves are driven away and the new leaves are preserved or new seeds are scattered here and there to grow the new things, new trees. That means indirectly that new ideas, new things must be here and old ideas, old thoughts, old things must be driven out. So, it's a philosophy, it's a thoughts. The second stanza, the west wind, plays in the air. It collects vapor from the sea and it must collect its power to create something outstanding, something a revolutionary change. In the third stanza, we see that West Wind plays in the water and a storm, huge storm is created by West Wind. Everything is destroyed. At the same parts that was trying to destroy all things, old civilizations, old thoughts, and created new, 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 and new. <clears throat> In the fourth stanza, we can see the poet resemble yourselves to the West Wind. West Wind is like a youth, is like a young man. The young man knows no bound of life. It creates something new. It, it loves something. It uh, changes something new. This the view of West End and the poet has had a life like West End. And the final stanza, that means stanza 5, we can see that the poet says, Ho, oh, West End, lift me as a cloud. Here he says that, like West End, he will be airy. He wanted to lift away by West End. And new thoughts, new things will come here. But at the last line, West End will create new and very fine future. Here is the final expression that something new and better must come. In first line, O wild west wind, thou breath of autumn's being, thou from whose unseen presence the leaves dead air drive in like ghost from the ancient 
fleeing like a ghost which twin drives world leaves old things oil the spirit who is art moving everywhere destroyer and preserver here o oh here destroyer was trained works like a destroyer like a and like a preserver while the spirit very strong and swift spirit who is destroy old things and preserve something new and better than old things In the stanza four, oh, lift me as a wave, as a leap, a cloud. I fall upon the thorns of life, a blade, a heavy weight of hours, and chained and bowed, on to like thee, timeless and swift and proud. Lift me as a wave, a cloud, a leap. because i am blade a fall upon the thorns of life we are the victim of times we are the victims of misfortune and we the human at last become waste and these wastes should be lifted out and the new potential life should come here drive my dead thoughts over the universe like wither leaves to quicken a new bud my dead thoughts my dead things should be driven out and create a opportunity to birth new thought new things every step in our life we should remember it that dead dead thoughts must be driven out from our heart our mind and new thoughts must be nourished here and the last couple of lines the trumpet of prophecy trumpet of prophecy oh wind if winter comes can spring be far behind if winter comes can is spring we far behind here we must want a spring but winter is before the spring if the winter is near then spring is also near it's a prophecy it's a optimistic prophecy optimistic word here so westend is really an outstanding poem we can say it revolutionary poem we can say it parshi bishi sheli is my very very favorite poet isn't for you please comment and tell me subscribe my channel like my video i will come again with the world class literature in english and the same time in bengali thank you so much